In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Midnight CS2 cheat, as well as doing a simple overview of the menu itself. If you guys want to pick up this menu, head over to wickedgamers.com, go to the mod menu section here, go to CS2 cheats, and then Midnight will be on your right. Once you get to this page, you're just going to hit purchase on this screen. Uh, once you get to here, you can enter in discount code uh, Luciano for 5% off, and then you can just enter in your email. Once you get to this page here, you're just going to enter in your credit card information and you will complete your order. Once you guys do so, you will see an email that looks just like this. It says send all downloads. Once you guys open up this email, which will contain your keys. So as you can see here, it says uh, midnight CS2 month and then your key is right here. You guys are going to have to go to the midnight.im website here. And as you can see, the website is in Russian by default. So you're just going to hit Russian up here. You're going to go to English. Once you get to this page here, you're going to hit register. You're gonna have to make an account on this website so you know enter in a username email and password and once you guys do complete this you're just gonna go to log in and you're gonna log in with your account that you just made alrighty guys so as you can see I'm successfully logged in you're gonna to go to the user CP section here and then as you can see you have your activate uh, key button up here you're gonna to go to your email and copy your key your uh, key for example uh, make sure there's no spaces before or after what you're gonna to want to do is you want to gonna come in here and you're gonna paste in your key and you're gonna activate key for me, it's not going to work because it says key not found because I already used this key uh, for my personal account. But this is just to show you guys how to activate your key. Once you guys do activate your key successfully, you should see a button that says download loader up here. Once you get to this page, you can basically download this loader. Before you guys download anything, head over to your Windows security. Uh, go to virus and threat protection here. Go to uh, manage settings here uh, with this button and just turn off real time protection. If you guys don't want to turn off your entire antivirus, uh, once you download this file, you can also go to uh, add or remove exclusions. You're going to hit yes on that pop up. And as you can see, I already excluded my file. Uh, so basically, you don't have to turn your whole antivirus off. You can just exclude the file from being, you know, uh, scanned or whatnot. This is how I do it. If you guys want to just turn the whole thing off, if that's easier, you can also do it that way. But like I said, once you guys get to this page and once you turn off your antivirus, hit your download button here and I'll let this go. And as you can see, it should start a download right here. You're going to hit this button here and you're going to hit keep show more and then hit keep anyway. And as you guys can see, that should work for you. As you guys can see, you're just going to want to open that file that you just downloaded. Uh, and you're going to hit yes on that pop up that comes up to give it admin permission. As you can see, it says Steam has been closed for security reasons. Uh, and then this loader should open up momentarily. Alrighty, guys, as you can see, I opened the loader and I am now in. If this does not automatically load in because you haven't used it yet, you're just going to have to log in with your email and your password from the midnight.im website. Once you log in, everything should be all set. Once you get to this page here, you're going to want to hit CS2 if you uh, if you want to load the CS2 version. Obviously, you can also get the GTA 5, which we do sell as well. But for this case, uh, for CS2, you're just going to hit start it now. You're going to hit your download server. Uh, choose whichever one you're closest to. Uh, for my case, I'm just going to do I'm going to do Canada because that's probably the closest. Uh, I'm going to hit start. As you can see, it says downloading product. Just wait for this startup process to fit finish. Just wait for the startup process to finish. Uh, I should uh, finish momentarily. Just an FYI, if you guys do have Valorant installed, you are going to have to close out Vanguard or this might not work. It should pop up and say that. Um, but just in case, I'm just going to let you know now. Alrighty guys, just make sure you wait. And as you can see, once you hear that beep and this pop-up says successfully, uh, now please start CS2 and fight. That's how you know when you can uh, launch CS2. It will automatically open up Steam for you, which is actually pretty nice. So all you have to do is go here, obviously, and launch CS2. If you don't know how to do this part, I can't really help you. Uh, <laughs> but just wait for CS2 to load up and you guys should be all set to go. Alrighty guys, once you guys do load into CS2, everything should look just like this. Um, as you can see, you have your midnight, uh, you know, menu itself. To open this, you basically press insert on your keyboard by default. Uh, starting off the menu itself, it's pretty nice looking. Uh, starting off with aimbot first, which is pretty nice. Uh, you have your globals here, which will work for every single weapon. Uh, you have your aimbot section here. You can also bind it to a key or you can have always on, whichever you may prefer. Auto stop, auto stop, disable aimbot when flashed and through smoke. You can also change your kill delay as well as your mouse lock X and Y. Um, even up here, you have a recoil script as well if you want to change that. As well as a trigger bot, which will automatically shoot onto enemies when you see them. You can also key bind this as well if you would like to do so. Uh, weapons here, you can basically customize individual aimbot and trigger bot uh, based on the weapon you're using. You can have it auto select the weapon or you can select the weapon for uh, for whatever you want to you know edit. Say you want to do an op, 
and you want to change your trigger bot for your op only in your aimbot settings as well as your fov settings or delays and whatnot you can all do that uh in this section here search bar here as well if you want to search for a uh you know an option here or you do have your settings here you can change your language to english or russian as well as your scale for the menu or your dpi scale i should say uh you do have your player options here as well which is basically your esp preview you can enable or disable this uh if you would like to do so chams as well uh visible or invisible and then you can also uh drag and drop different components to create an esp if you guys do want to see the full showcase i will link a video down below in the description for you guys to take a look at uh but once again you do have your teammates here as well if you want to have esp or champs for your teammates your items here as well where you can basically give yourself um you know esp for your items so as you can see if you want to have this you know display on the ground so if you want a box on a weapon that's you know on the ground you can have that as well as your champs as well if you want to enable that projectiles as well like your flashbangs your uh grenades you can also have uh nade trajectory as well as predictions uh as well as your c4 bomb if you want to have that on um as you can see uh you can also put chams on the bomb as well you need for view here you can basically uh change your view model as well as your actual fov your hud option here as well if you want to have your aim target hitbox recoil die your aim fov sniper crosshair your bind uh list which is right here which shows you what binds you currently have active as well as your spectator list to see when people are spectating you c4 bomb info which is right here so you basically see how much time you have left uh at what site is planted on for example can also remove smoke flash or first person legs you do have a radar here as well if you want to enable that which will basically display in game or you can just have it display like this and this will basically show you where the bombs planted as well as where the enemies are your main section here as well you can put trust and mode on auto accept matches your menu open key which is obviously insert by default but you can change if you would like to do so your visual key here is those are input key as well uh your inventory here as well if you want to give yourself skins all you have to do is hit add here select what uh, skin you want so if you want to hit a knife if you want your karambit and if you want to go for something like you know your doppler for example and you want to add this you basically hit save you're going to want to go into your inventory up here as you can see it's right here you can uh basically let me move this bind list real quick for you basically hit this and you can do add to favorite for both teams and then uh, basically this will equip it for you and as you guys can see this is your knife that you do have now which is pretty cool it does work all of these work uh whatever skin you want you can basically get and then your cloud options here if you want to load in different configs from the midnight's website you basically go here to actually get them you go to midnight.im you go to the form section cs2 and then i think there's a config section there where you can get all of these that actually is going to be it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace